Hi, my name is Ken. This is another of my woodworking projects I'd like to show you. It's a four-cylinder flathead engine. Looks pretty smooth. See here we got crankshaft, connecting rods, and if we look underneath, we see the pistons with a wrist pin. And then on the other side, take a look around here, we have a camshaft. You see the tappets going up and down in the camshaft lobes, mounted by three sets of main bearings here. Okay, now let's take a look at what's really happening inside this engine. Here. Now, notice the valves going up and down, and the pistons going up and down. And you might think that's just a bunch of random jumping, but they're far from random. This engine is modeled after a old Willis Jeep model L134, and um, so the pistons firing order is one, three, four, two. The exhaust valves and input valves uh, they don't really follow any pattern because they share uh, intake and exhaust manifolds. So I put a piece of tape in here to write down which is which: exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust. Okay, now let's take the. Uh, operation of this engine here. Piston number one. Piston number one fires and if you look up here there's a little spark plug. Okay. Piston number one fires. It goes down, the exhaust valve opens up, the exhaust is forced out, input valve opens up, we draw in new fuel, on the upstroke it compresses that fuel and then fires it and we do it over again. Now when this one fires at the end of the firing stroke, the power stroke, Number three is ready to fire. So it goes down and its exhaust valve opens up. Pushes out the exhaust, draws in new fuel, comes back up, ready to fire again. When it fires, number four is ready to go. Number four fires, the exhaust opens up, takes in new fuel, and then fires. When it finishes firing, number two is ready to go. It fires, Exhaust opens up, closes up, intake opens up, gets new fuel, and we start the whole process over again. On top here we have just a little make-believe uh, distributor and spark plugs, and you can see the firing order, though, one, three, four, two. Then over here we have timing gears to time the thing, make sure everything's working. And again, a little review here, crankshaft, connecting rods, camshaft in the back. And that is my project, and thanks for watching.